वेलकम बैक टू इजी इंजीनियरिंग बाय नेहा सैयद टुडे टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज एन आई पी वी फोर दैट इज इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल वर्जन फोर व्हाट इज एन इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल इज नथिंग बट अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स फॉर कम्युनिकेशन ओवर द इंटरनेट इट इज यूज फॉर कम्युनिकेटिंग ओवर द इंटरनेट इट इज एन थर्टी टू बिट एड्रेस इट इज यूनिकली एंड यूनिवर्सली इट इज यूज फॉर डिफाइनिंग the connection of the devices so we use this 32 bit address to define the connection of an device it is unique in the sense means what one address can be defined or given to only one and only one device no two devices can have the same address so it that's why it is called as unique all over the devices or the internet it is expressed in a decimal notation or a binary notation uh, here i have given the example of uh, decimal notation you can see here it is in a numeric format it is a simple example of uh, uh, ipv4 address we will also see what is an address space used in a ipv4 so address space is nothing but a total number of addresses used by this ipv4 protocol so it is in total number of addresses like for example if we have the n bit of addresses the address space we are going to have is in 2 raised to n address space so now in the ipv4 it is a, as we know it is in 32 bit address space so we, what is going to be uh, it is in 32 bit address so what is an ipv4 address space is going to be uh, like it would be 2 raised to n so it would be 2 raised to 32 so you can see here almost it is in 4.3 billion unique addresses we have but uh, still it is not sufficient for more than 8 billions of people because nowadays almost everyone is using the devices and the internet so it is like uh, becoming inefficient or you can say it is becoming uh, not possible to give uh, the ipv4 address to each and every one so that's why ipv6 come in the picture so we will also going to see what is an ipv6 in the next video right now we will see in detail what is an ipv4 so simply remember that address space is nothing it is going to be 2 raised to n so always remember whatever bits are there it is going to be 2 raised to n so for example ipv4 it is going to be 2 raised to 32 bit address space so it would be almost 4 billion now uh, as i mentioned there are different notation used for ipv4 here you can see there is two notation used first is the binary notation and the second one is the decimal notation so binary notation it is displayed in a 32 bit it is a 30, uh, ipv4 so for each uh, 8 bits for each 8 bit it is going to be have an one byte we say 8 bit it is as in one byte like you can see each octet referred as in one byte so here is an example this is the first uh, byte second third and fourth so you can say it is in 32 bit address space in the binary notation we can write it in this binary form and we can obviously like have uh, also this uh, we can obviously uh, express is in a decimal notation as well which is easy to understand and easy to read like this is the example that we have already seen it is an in a uh, numeric form it is much easier to understand even we can convert this decimal to binary and binary to decimal so accordingly require according to the requirement it can be changed uh, interchange so it is very easy to understand that's why most of the time we use the uh, decimal notation or you can say the numeric decimal notation for expressing the ipv4 address now how does this actually ipv4 works see uh, when a device sends the data whenever any device is going to send the data over the internet it is going to attach the ipv4 source address and the destination address both addresses is going to be attached into one packet for example this is the data that we have to send in this it is going to attach the source address as well as it is going to attach the destination address because obviously for sending the data we should know what is the destination and the data from where it is arriving it should be known to the destination that why we attach both source address as well as a destination address we are going to attach in this packet for sending the data now uh, where obviously the routers on the internet is going to use this uh, addresses for forwarding the data to the towards the destination router maintain the ip addresses 
or you can say it uses the routing algorithm so that it can find out the best path for sending the data to the respective destination so it is not necessary there would is there is going to be a single path or the same path is it is going to follow there can as an internet have lots of connections it can follow the best path or you can say whenever we want to travel from one destination one uh, pa one particular source to uh, any destination we also follow some best path which is the shortest path so that we can arrive early similarly if there is no congestion is there so similarly source also find all the routers uses the same technique it finds try to finds the best path which is the best path if there is no congestion or any traffic is there it is going to find that best path and it will send the data to the respective destination this is how actually ipv for works even you can watch my ip addresses video in previously i have also explained what is simply an ip so you will have the better understanding of how, how actually internet protocol works so i will also provide the link in the description box now there are different addressing modes used for an ipv4 what are the various addressing modes used in an ipv4 addressing it is first is unicast broadcast and a multicast in the unicast what happen it ha it is like one to one connection or you can say one to one communication is there uh, actually say it is going to send the data to uh, only one device is going or you can say only the there is going to be one so one source is going to send the data or the respective information to the particular destination simply one to one communication is going to happen like for example if you want to send an email to respective destination or a respective email id a single email id so in this case this is called as an unicast addressing mode whereas in what happen in a broadcast addressing mode it is one to many communication like for example if you want to send a data to all the hosts connected in the particular network at that time we can use the broadcast communication uh, in this ad, uh, in destination address field it comes uh, in what will be coming in the destination address field all the addresses that where we need to send the data for example um, in a classroom teacher wants to make an announcement regarding any test so teacher uh, whatever the teacher is saying it is broadcasting to all the student at a time that this particular day, on this particular day there is going to be an exam and all so he he or she is going to be actually broadcasting the news to all the student at the same time so this is can be the example of broadcasting even the television uh, is an example of broadcasting uh, even if we are not willing to watch any particular thing uh, we, there is a, uh, in a particular slot it is have going to have the particular session and the videos it will be going to be played where is what happen in the multicasting it is similar to broadcasting but here the people who are willing to watch is going to get the particular data or a video at that time only if you are not willing to watch like and subscribers if we are not willing to watch they are not going to receive the data so if we are interested in receiving the data only then and on, then only we can join that particular group and you will get the data so in this way how the addressing modes work for the ipv4 so uh, in the uh, simple and a short way i have explained what is an ipv4 in the upcoming videos we will see what is an ipv4 headers and the differences between ipv6 and their headers so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you